Hey friends, welcome to physics platter. In the physics topic, what we are going to do today is to prove the conservation of energy for a freely falling body. Uh, so we will prove the total energy is conserved during a free fall of a body. So first of all, for that we have to know what is a free fall. So free fall is nothing but a body. If a body is dropped from a height, from some height, and it's for it falls only due to the effect of the gravity, only due to the effect of the gravity, then that's called the free fall. And there is, of course, there is no other external force than the gravity, the force due to the gravitational attraction by the earth. All right. <clears throat> So, let's say a body of mass m is dropped from, mind it, it's dropped, alright? Drop means just taking to a height and leaving the ball, which means the ball was at rest and when it is left to move, it simply falls freely due to the gravity, alright? Let's say the body is dropped from a height h so the body will freely fall and touch the ground eventually at some point okay so we will prove the conservation of energy for this body that means during the flight of the body at any position the total uh, energy of the body is conserved for that we will first write down the equations of motion for a freely falling body what are the equations of motion of course there are three equations of motion which number one v equals to u plus a t number two well here v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity and a is of course i should write actually g the acceleration due to gravity because it is freely falling Okay, so initial uh, final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration due to gravity, and the time. Okay, secondly, h equals to ut plus half gt square. And then thirdly, third equation is what? v square equals to u square plus 2gh. So these are my equations of motion for a Freely, ball, freely falling body because it's moving in a straight line. All right. Now the <clears throat> energy. Talking about the mechanical energy, there are two types of two two energy, of course, involved in this case to the body. That is one is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy K E, which we will represent as K in this problem, and that's given as half m v square and then the potential energy which i will represent as w that give that's given as m g h force into the displacement okay then the total energy t e total energy equals to t equals to what kinetic energy plus potential energy equals to half m v square plus m g h so this is what the formulas are that i will be using all right so let's go back to the problem a ball or a any body of mass m is dropped from the height h let's say the maximum height h is position a and then the mean the height the, the, the position just before touching the or just uh, at the time of touching the ground is c now what we have to prove that the total energy at position a is equals to total energy at position c and if we prove that any random position that the total energy of the body at any random position is exactly same as the total energy at a or total energy at c if we can prove that then we have already proven the conservation of 
energy at any position all right so let's say i will take any position during the flight of the during the fall of the body which i will name as as b which is x distance apart from a all right so this is my x from a to b this is also m of course this is still moving okay now we have to what do we have to prove here we have to prove to do this basically we have to prove total energy at let's write here t at a equals to t at b which t is the total energy equals to t at c this is to prove so we have to prove this all right okay now we will see what are the total energies at different points let's consider first point a at a so what is at a the height is h so what is the potential energy at a so potential energy means the w at a equals to m g into h right kinetic energy at a which is my k equals to okay at a what is the velocity of the body a means the initial velocity of the body what is what was the velocity of the body it was simply drop means it started from the rest that means the initial velocity or the velocity of the body at a equals to zero right that means the kinetic energy equals to half m v square equals to zero that gives k a of course that gives my total energy at a equals to potential energy yeah the kinetic energy at a plus the potential energy w at a equals to kinetic energy is what zero plus potential energy is what m g h so that gives my total energy equals to m g h okay so this is my first equation let's say t a equals to m g h okay now we will go to the point b at b so for b we have to find the height and the velocity what is the height at b height of the body so height of the body from the ground at b equals to what simply this height this height which is what total is h this part is x so this is h minus x right bc that means height is equals to bc equals to what h minus x all right that gives my potential energy w at b equals to m g into the height what is height again h minus x equals to what m g h minus m g x all right so this is my potential energy at b what is the kinetic energy at b for the kinetic energy i have to find the velocity at b first so what is the velocity at b the body was started body started moving from a with initial velocity u which is zero now we have to find the final velocity at b so we can simply apply because we don't have the time we have height g initial velocity final velocity so we will apply simply the third equation of motion so v square equals to u square plus 2 g h what is the distance here what is the distance traveled by the body x so 2 g x right from the initial the distance traveled is x now my initial velocity is u which is 0 because the body was dropped from a that means this gives equals to therefore v square equals to u is 0 so 2 g x all right so v square equals to 2 g x so that means my kinetic energy 
becomes what? K at B equals to half m v square equals to half m into v square is what? 2gx, 2gx equals to 2, 2 cancel. I am left with mgx. Okay. Now my total energy T at B becomes what kinetic energy at B plus potential energy at B equals to kinetic energy is B at B is what mgx we have just found that and then plus potential energy at B is what this is my potential energy at B mgh minus mgx so plus mgh minus mgx equals to mgx mgx cancelled that means we are left with mgh therefore tb equals to mgh which let's say is my second equation now at c let's go to the point c now at c what happens at c body has traveled all the way from a to c that means it has traveled the distance h all right what is the height in this case at c zero because it is already touching the ground and what is the distance traveled h so first of all height equals to height equals to zero and that gives my potential energy w at c equals to m g into 0 that means 0 okay and kinetic energy for kinetic energy i have to find the velocity at c so what is the final velocity here again we will apply the same formula v square equals to u square plus 2 g h therefore u the body started from a again because we are considering the whole path ac that means the initial velocity was 0 that means u is 0 which gives us equals to 0 plus 2 g h therefore v square equals to 2 g h okay <clears throat> therefore my kinetic energy k at c becomes half m v square equals to half into m into v square is what 2 g h right which gives 2 2 cancel becomes m g h all right okay that gives my all right so kinetic energy at c is we have found mgh therefore what is the total energy at c total energy at c equals to kinetic energy at c plus potential energy at c which is equals to kinetic energy at c is mgh mgh plus potential energy at c is what zero zero we have just found that right that gives us gives the total energy as mg h therefore total energy at c equals to m g h that's my third equation now it's now see we have found total energy at a total energy at a equals to m g h number one from the number one equation we have found total energy at b equals to m g h from number two equation again m g h and then at c total energy is also mgh that gives us from one and one two and three gives us total energy at a equals to total energy at b equals to total energy at c that means the total energy of the body remains constant throughout its fall from the initial position from the dropping position to the position before touching the ground that proved the conservation of energy 
for a freely falling body all right i hope i could uh, explain you uh, in a very easy method so that you can understand everything um, if you like this video please subscribe my channel and give a thumb up for the for the video and share it with your friends um, if you have any question queries or suggestions please 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 write in the comment section all right i'll try to solve all the queries and the problems you give okay that's all for now and we will see you in the next video thank you take care